the saints do the work of the ministry because they've been equipped to. You have something in you that I can't give, but you got something in you that's going to change the world. Amen? It's going to change somebody's life. It's amazing. It's to edify the body of Christ. To build up to the perfect man, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of who? Christ. Down in verse 16 of Ephesians 4, causes growth for the edifying of itself in love. Teaching. Pastor stands up here week after week and preaches his guts out because he hopes that you're going to take the words that he preaches and put them in your life and do something with them that's going to change the world. So you step into this place, maybe see a few people you know, shake a few hands, sing a few songs, listen to a person speak about some biblical topic, and then get out hopefully early enough to get to Sizzler before the rush. Were you educated? Were you instructed? Did you receive a training that will help you in your walk with Christ this week? Did you get something that's going to rock your world all week long and you're chewing on it and you're saying, man, that changed me, that did something in me. I'm not the same man or I'm not the same woman that I was when I walked through the door. That's edification. That's why you came this morning is to receive something here that's going to change you to look more like Jesus to the fullness of his stature throughout the week. Amen? Did your heart and mind burst with revelation and a fresh desire to understand another part of God's character? Did you adore your Savior and worship in spirit and in truth? Did you walk with God as a disciple or literally a disciplined one? Develop and improve in your life. Did you walk out better than when you walked in? This is the second important reason for the church to gather together. So the first one is to worship God. The second one is to be built up and educated and trained so that when you leave this place, you look more like Jesus. Amen? That's an exciting thing. That's kind of like, you know, this is going to be a horrible analogy. It's like when the ladies get a perm, and then they they sit underneath that little, what is that thing? The hair dryer. It looks like an antenna or something, and you got like foil, and, and you're thinking to yourself, I wonder what that's going to look like when they're all done. (laughs) That hairdo is being edified. And then they pull the thing off and they take the foil off and they dude it up, whatever they do. And poof, poof, now you've got this beautiful hairdo that you didn't have before because it was edified. You see, the body of Christ is a lot like that. We walk through the door. And we look like we got some rooster tails, and we need our roots done, and, and we need some foil, and we need, to, we need some dye. And, 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 and we just put this like radio antenna thing on our head, and everybody thinks, man, these people are crazy. And we come in here, and we get revelation, and then poof, we go out, and we look like Jesus. 